Hello, I thought I'd do a quick introduction to the Adjustment Bureau and the generally the films based on books by Philip K. Dick. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about this fellow because he's quite interesting. He was born in 1928 and died in 1982 and he published from 1950, so from the age of 22, to just before his death. So his last book came out in 1981. And actually the year he died, the first film based on his work called Blade Runner, the film was called Blade Runner, um, came out. So he actually didn't live to see the great Hollywood successes of his films. He had had some success during his lifetime as a novelist and as a short story writer, but science fiction wasn't very highly regarded in his lifetime. So while science fiction fans had loved him, he hadn't had any really kind of, he wasn't considered a serious literary figure, and I'm not sure that he is even now. The film that we're looking at is called The Adjustment Bureau and it's about this guy here who realises that people are interfering with his life and um, and that he they want to keep him on plan and he has to decide what he's going to do about that. So that's the film we're studying that's just come out this year and it's actually based on a book, a much older book of course, sorry not book, a short story called The Adjustment Team which is only about 20 minutes long. Now the film is quite different to the book. It actually takes the idea at the heart of the book but expands it and um, completely revises it basically. This is something that you will notice if you look at Philip K. Dick, K. Dick stories that have been turned into films. Often they have to be considerably transformed or they are considerably transformed into a different film. Uh, likewise, Blade Runner, which I mentioned before, was the first film that they made based on one of his books. The film is called Blade Runner, but it's actually based on a novel called Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Now some of the central ideas are the same in these. I'd say they're probably 50-60% the same, but that's not a whole lot actually, 50-60% the same. Both really interesting texts, but they deal with different concerns. Blade Runner, interestingly, was recently um, voted the most influential science fiction film of all time, um, as were, and a lot of these films are very influential films. Another one that's worth considering is Minority Report, which had Tom Cruise in it. Now that's actually based on a short story called Minority Report. I would say that's about 40 or 50 pages long. And again, the short story is quite a small story, and the t they actually expand and it considerably for the film. They take some of the same characters but they paint on a much bigger canvas for the film. Often his books or his short stories dealt with ideas in a quiet he was just kind of exploring an idea with a short story. He didn't go on and on about it, he'd just kind of play out a scenario with the idea but the films tend to paint a much bigger picture. Uh, also recently there was a film called A Scanner Darkly uh, and that's based actually on a novel by Philip K. Dick and that's actually unusual because it's almost exactly the same story as in the book and it's a deeply paranoid and disturbed film. Uh, another one is called Next which is based on a story called We Can Remember It actually it's not called We Can Remember It For Your Wholesale I'm not sure what that story is called but that's based on another um, Philip K. Dick story uh, this next one Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it is based on the story We Can Remember It For Your Wholesale which is also a short story and also, and I've left a couple out because I haven't seen them and I don't want to talk about things I haven't seen, but this thing called Paycheck with Ben Affleck in it was also based on a short story called Paycheck. So, um, that lots of his films have been turned, lots of his stories have been turned into films in the last 20, 30 years. Very, you know, and I'm sure they'll keep doing it because he's created quite a lot. I didn't mention it earlier, but he wrote 36 novels and 121 short stories, so there's quite a bit of material there. But here's what these stories have in common. They're very paranoid works. You know, people in his films know this, you find out that there's something going on in the world, that somebody's out to get them or the world isn't as it seems. And this is certainly true in the Adjustment Bureau. They are mostly science fiction. Most of the really weird stuff in it isn't magic, it's science. And it isn't amazing to the people in the story, it's just amazing to us. Um, this is true for almost all of these. They're actually driven by scientific development and I guess he's toying with the idea of what happens if we keep developing things. A couple of them have supernatural and magical elements, including the Adjustment Bureau, and they are often about lone men trying to fight their way through a world that they've just found is basically much more complicated than they thought it was. So that's the end of our introduction, or the end of my introduction, and we'll talk some more about this soon.